amount of gains makes from the next creation. The question is that how is overtime pay calculated in Qatar? How is overtime pay calculated in Qatar? Most of you have been in the Gulf countries and you've heard of what you call overtime and you've, even the companies that you're working uh, for, you've heard of what you call the overtime pay. By the way, how many of you have got a chance to know how to calculate that overtime and how many of you have got a chance to enjoy the benefits of overtime in your companies? Then, drop in, a, uh, uh, drop in your... your, your your, your, your view in the comment section remember when we are looking at according to the article 74 that is according to the article 74 of the employees in qatar are all entitled to what you call an additional uh, an additional payment to their standard wage this additional payment to their standard wage we are talking about overtime remember the uh, the maximum hours of overtime in Qatar or in Gulf countries is supposed to be two hours are the ones supposed to be calculated as what we call the overtime. Remember, most of you may not know how to calculate this. For example, if your duty, your duty, if your duty is working or you are working, uh, your duty duty location is 12 hours, so they calculate 12 hours. So 12 hours plus one hour of transport, 30 minutes to one, 30 minutes to go, that is already 13 hours, meaning that that is the normal duty working hours. And if you are going to have more extra time, those other two hours, then will be what you call the overtime. But remember, that overtime in Qatar is supposed to be 25% of what we call the regular working hours. And this is supposed to be paid at a rate of 1.5 at that same time. Meaning that the working extra hours in Qatar should not exceed what you call uh, two hours is what we call, that's what we've calculated as the, what we call overtime. That overtime we are talking about is an extra, an extra time, uh, uh, an extra money that is being given on, uh, an extra entitlement that is given to you after an agreement is being reached between you and the employer. Your employer may request you to do some overtime, but there, as according to the law, that overtime should be uh, paid to you after work is being consumed or should be calculated or part of your salary when, when whenever uh, that is completed at that time. Yes, to some extent, some employers may force you to do overtime depending on the situation of the work and depending on the situation or the urgency that may be required to perform that particular same. So they will probably may be forced to have what you call overtime or do what you call overtime work in one way or the other. But remember, when we are talking about, uh, uh, according to the law, it is paid in what you call an hourly, uh, hourly rate, meaning that each hour you get, you are paid at a rate of 1.5 Qataria. So meaning that for you to get the actual hours that you've worked uh, with overtime, you definitely get 1.5, which is the uh, actual hourly rate, then times the number of hours worked, which is two, and it will give you definitely a round figure or to give you that figure that you've worked for as overtime. Hope I've tried to share something and give you a light regarding overtime. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. It's Max from the Max Creation TV.